Scientology 411. What do you think the chances of the training films being leaked into the wild anytime soon are? Do you know if they were being converted to DVD or were they still doing the films? I hated that damned Protiars film from having to watch it so much, but it'd be kind of trippy to see it now. Oh my god, I would, I would give a lot to get those training films out into the public domain because none of them have leaked. And uh, I mean, there was the orientation film did, but that's not really a, the, the kind of film you're talking about is a training film. Let me, let me clarify this for everybody. In the late 70s, L. Ron Hubbard got the idea that this is an audiovisual world, which it clearly is. Uh, we communicate through audiovisual uh, often, and, and that's the most effective way of getting ideas across to people. So um, he started a film unit uh, within the Sea Org, and, he, and it, this is now Golden Era Productions. That's why it's called Golden Era Productions, is it was a film unit first. It was called Cine. Uh, or the Cine Unit or something, and, uh, and L. Ron Hubbard directed the films, and they shot it on, you know, I don't know, 8 millimeter or something, and the films were then edited and put together by the church all in-house, and then they were put on these cassettes, these great big cassettes, and special projectors were sent out to every single org, they had to buy them, and then the uh, cassettes of the films were sent out to all the orgs, and this was how you would see these films that L. Ron Hubbard had made. And the films were made in order to demonstrate TRs, or different principles of communication and training routines and, and training, and uh, the e-meter, showing how the e-meter works, showing e-meter reads, showing different things about the meter. So there were TR films, and there were e-meter films, and these covered... Um, you know, there was a film about the cycle of communication, and there was a film literally called How the E-Meter Works, and then there was another one called E-Meter Reads, which, uh, which described all the different things the needle does on the, on the E-Meter. So these films have been, were made, and then they have been remade, and then they've been remade again. There's been, you know, three or four generations of, of, of most of these films. Some of the reasons why they had to remake some of the films is because, one of the reasons is because there were SPs in the films, right? The films had gotten made, and then time moved on, and some of the people in the films got declared. They got kicked out of the church, or they blew, or they left, or whatever, and then it was like, oh, we can't keep showing that film. So they remade it. <laughs> this happened a lot, which is one of the reasons why Scientology started hiring actors to be in these films rather than using Sea Org members, which is what they were doing initially. There were a couple of films that had Jason Begay in them, for example, one very prominently that he was in. Uh, Larry Anderson was in the orientation film. Well, these were celebrities in the Scientology uh, who were in Scientology, and they left. And so that orientation film, I think, got changed. I don't know for sure on that one, but I know the films that Jason Begay were in uh, have all been removed and canceled and taken out, right? And, uh, and on the Pro-TRs film, you'll be interested to hear this, um, the people who were declared were digitally removed and, and new actors put in uh, for a couple of the scenes on that. And then I think they did re then end up reshooting the whole thing. So uh, anyway... The way the films are distributed now is not on these 8mm cassettes or reel-to-reel -reel films, which is what they had going for a long time. They were using film projectors. Now it is all stored on a computer hard drive, and they are digitally projected in the org. And the, the, the hard drives and the computer systems that hold all the films, because they're just MP4 files now, are very tightly secured uh, in the, the church. So... Those are not coming out. Uh, you'd literally have to go in. Well, I'm, I mean, you'd have to, you know, break the law in order to get these films. And I'm certainly not uh, asking or encouraging anyone to do that. It's not worth it at all. Uh, these films are not that great. <laughs> Believe me, Avengers Endgame was way better than anything Scientology's ever produced. Uh, anyway, but that's where the films are now. So they've got it all worked out. And I believe they even update the films um, through the network. Uh, so they don't have to go and send a guy uh, or send stuff through the through the postal system or the mail in order to uh, update the films. They just uh, update them uh, through the network. Uh, anyway, so that's how uh, the films work now. And that's for the introductory films as well as all the technical training films.